guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious French toast ever. Okay, so we're going to start off with some bread. I only have two slices because I'm only making them for me. And you're going to need one egg. I'm going to take that egg, crack it in a bowl that's big enough to hold your toast or your bread. It's not toast yet. Then you're going to need some milk. You can use regular milk or even half and half or, you know, a heavy whipping cream, whatever you have. I have 2% milk, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to add about half a cup of that in here. Like that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar because I like mine a little sweet. But everybody does, but I do. So I'm going to add about, say, a teaspoon and a half in there. And I'm also going to add some cinnamon. Now you can, you can flavor this up any way you really like. Sometimes I use a little orange zest. And sometimes I use vanilla, but I am in cinnamon mood today. So I'm using cinnamon. So just have a teaspoon. My teaspoon doesn't fit in here, so I'm going to use the shaker. Put about half a teaspoon in there, or if you like it more cinnamon then then by all means, cinnamon it up. Okay, and also a piece of salt. Salt is very important. It just brings out the, the flavors more, I think. So even when you're making something sweet, always add a piece of salt. And then you are just going to mix it together. And... This is going to make a lovely custard. A custard is usually just an egg and milk based substance. And that's what we're making. Essentially making a very basic custard. So mix that up well. It's really not that hard. Okay. Then you're going to take your bread. I have French bread here. This kind of makes sense to me. French toast, French bread, you know what I mean. So, um, usually they say use day old bread, but I I don't know. I, I mean, if you go to the store and you get some bread, isn't it the day old already? Unless you have, you know, your own little um, neighborhood bakery where you can get fresh bread. So I just slice, slice it on the bias so I have more space. It's bigger, easier to eat. And I'm just going to dunk it in here. So you want to let this sit at least a minute on each side because you want the bread to just like absorb all of this lovely custard. So you're going to put it in there and just let it soak for about a minute. Turn it, let it soak on the other side for a minute. And then we're going to go over to the pan and cook it. Soaking, 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 soaking. Okay, so when one side is soaked to your liking, you can turn this over. Just use your hands, clean hands, soak it on that side. I'm going to find something to wipe my hands. Okay, and then I like mine with a little almond crust on it because it just makes it so much more delicious. So I'm going to Get some slivered almonds. I'm going to put it in a plate like so. So I'm going to play. I'm going to make one with almonds and one without it so you can see the difference. So I'll just lay them out. And the egg is going to act as a glue and so the almonds is going to stick to the toast very well. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my toast pieces. Remember I said the the egg was going to act as a glue and I'm going to put it right into the almonds like that. Wiggle it around until they stick and I'm going to turn it around. You see how nice it looks? It's all almond crusted. Yeah, you don't need a culinary degree to crust stuff, bake stuff. Really good. Okay, so you have that one and then almonds around and then you have you 
the other one. Now we're gonna put them in the pan. I'm gonna take this over to the pan and I'm gonna use butter. I don't suggest using olive oil because olive oil just has a stronger flavor and it does not go well with, with toast because you really want the, the nice cinnamon flavor. So olive oil will just like mess with that. So use butter. If you don't want to use butter, you can use some mild oil like canola oil. Okay, see you over there. Okay, so we're going to check if the pan is nice and warm. This is how I check. I don't know how you do it, but you know, when it's the butter starts to bubble a little, it should be okay. You're gonna take your almond crust piece, put it in there, and then the other piece, put it in there. Now you don't want this to cook really fast, because remember. You have that custard soaked up into it, so you do want the custard to cook first. So you're gonna put, I'm gonna put mine on about four. So that's medium heat. And you do want to cook it at least four minutes on each side. And you also want a nice brown crust. So don't don't disturb it right away. After about two, you know, two minutes, check how it's doing, and then you can adjust the temperature if you need to. I just leave it like that for a bit. Okay, so it's been cooking for about four minutes on each side now, so I'm gonna flip it. Just use your fingers a little support and you can see how nice and brown and crunchy it became. It's nice and crisp, but it's also soft in the inside because of that custard. Flip this one. And then let it cook for another four minutes. You really want to cook that custard inside because it's essentially it's just going to be a raw egg if you don't cook it. So do that. You've got to have a little patience with that, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So it's time to eat finally. We're going to dish this up. Okay, I'm going to go get the pan. Put it over there. Take my lovely French toast. Oh, it's hot. It's the one piece without the almonds. This is the piece with the almonds. See how nice that looks? Perfect. Now I like to serve mine with a little strawberry. So I cut up a few strawberries. They're really inexpensive right now since they are in season. So it makes a really good summer topping. So I just added some a teaspoon of sugar to about five or six strawberries a teaspoon of sugar and that lets the juices run out so you have like a nice juicy topping and I'm just gonna spoon this over my yummy French toast like so really yummy looking and if you want to make it look even more fancy you can put some powdered sugar in one of these shakers and then just do a little sprinkle and it looks like you went to some fancy restaurant and got this. Now you can also serve it just with some syrup or with Nutella, which I often do because this is the best thing ever. But there you have it. French toast, almond crusted French toast with some strawberries. And let me taste this. I don't even have a fork here, but let me get one. Okay, so let me taste this and see how I get it. It's nice and crunchy. You have the extra crunch of the almonds, which is really good. Nice and custard in the inside. Make this for breakfast next weekend, tomorrow, I don't know. Make it for dinner, I don't care. But you should really make this. You see? You can make this. I know you can. This was easy. It took us about 10 minutes to make this. So, go out. No more excuses. Make this. You can. You can make this. Really. Come on.